I keep trying to think of an analogy for a relationship. Uh. You know, figure out what she meant to me. Oh. Best I could come up with was one of those flip books. What? Well, you know, doodles you used to do in the corner of your school books. Uh, no. Oh, I used to. Anyway, it's a two year long flip book. Uh. But I try and go back and, and flip through and all I all I get is a blur. It's too fast, it won't stop. It's kinda crazy. Oh well fuck you! Are you supposed to be helping me? Yeah, yes I know it's a voluntary helpline. I'm sorry. Not good, Heavy. Not good at all. I just don't think you're approaching this right. Listen, I'll let you in on a little secret. I think it's safe to say that if anybody here knows women, it's Benedict, baby. <sighs> Elwood, are you ready yet? A second. I'm almost ready for my entrance. Listen, he put a lot of work into this. Don't laugh. Now, dating is like boxing. It really is that simple, gentlemen. First, you know, your opponent gets in there, you dance around a little bit, you size each other up, search for each other's weaknesses, and then all of a sudden, POW! You go for the punch out. Now, Gertrude here has weakness in her personality. You have three minutes to find him. And... Go. Steps had been stolen from the office, and if these steps are returned, further steps would be taken. Change the subject. Uh, what's your favorite day of the week? I like Sundays. I uh, like them so much I can't go a week without one. <laughs> Knock her out. Um, Knock her out. Knock her out. Knock her out. <laughs> And that's time. Uh, listen. Might as well tell you. After we found you last night, we went to every bar in town and kind of wrote your phone number in all the ladies' washrooms. And a few of the men's. Just stop it. Stop what? You know what I think? I think you'd rather pine over some perfect album than get out there and risk getting some bad pictures. Well, well you stop it then. Y you know, everyone who's supposed to be helping me today isn't. They're just giving me bad advice. Take my best friends. You know, to get me a new love life, they go out and put my name in every girl's toilet around town. Wait, you're the hepster?
Every girl in town wants to meet the fearless Hepster. Well, uh, that explains the messages. Uh, hey, why is it they keep calling me fearless? It says your number, name, and then I am not afraid. Hepster gets his friends to write his number in the stalls for him. Turns out Mr. Fearless is just a coward. I am not. I mean, I am. I am brave, is what I mean. <laughs> Look, I'll ask you out right now. W would you go out with me? No way. Besides. Helpline policy, we don't day cases. Next time you call, ask for someone else or write... I can't stand cowards. Your fool is having another episode. I'm a it's vegetables this time. And, and why is your number in a lady's washroom? I love you. Call me. Me again, you little punk. Time's up. Today, I'm going to blow you up in a big bowl of fear. Like a peanut? No. Yes, I mean. Thanks. Sorry I tried to scare you earlier. It's okay. You, you thought it was something else. I, um. I wrote you a poem. Fears Armpits by Rotunda Lesmore. Hey, beautiful. I wrote you a love song today. Aw, oh, you shouldn't have. Your teeth remind me of cheese curls and your eyes are the color of my poo Just looking at your face makes me want to hurl Won't you be my girl Even though you're ugly, yeah I still love you and Even though you smell bad I still care Oh, how I love to run my fingers through your dirty, lice and and hair. You are the ugliest thing, ugliest thing I've ever seen. And no, I'm not trying to be mean. Please don't try to sing along. Started on that fungus growing on your toes. It's the same color as those things you've been picking out of your nose. Girl, your hygiene's about the worst I've ever seen. I'm surprised you have friends. They're surprised you have me. Even though you're ugly, yeah, I still love you and. 